Well, first of all, I love the terminology of digital workforce. I also like yeah, the, just the the concept that digital isn't just about the consumer. It's about a lot of different areas. And you started to sort of elaborate on this, uh, what digital will look like. Yeah, give me an idea. If we fast forward five years from the different perspectives you're looking at this, you just talked about from the clinician perspective, that digital will come alongside them and help them to be more effective and more productive. Are there other sort of, I, I guess, visionary use cases that you're looking at to say, in five years, we would like our health system to look like this on behalf of our patients. Yeah. If you looked at, broken down the, the different groups that uh, I kind of broke out at the beginning, if you look at the provider side, I think for us on the digital side, there certainly would be a, a lot more artificial intelligence built into a lot of the decision-making and how we are offering the data up to providers to make those kinds of decisions uh, on our patients and really start to change the outcomes as well as the efficiency of that work. If you look at on the, the patient side, certainly we want a lot more self-service. We really want to provide the tools and the, the tool belt to allow the patient to do uh, his or her work uh, much more efficiently and really be a bigger piece of the process of health or health care. If you look at the consumer side, uh, I think people need choice. They need information to make those choices. So as we continue to communicate our services, the quality of our services, um, how we are looking to continue to advance health and health care, getting that out to people so they can make those kinds of decisions. So with that also comes a lot of openness and transparency. So when they're comparing for different services, they can compare us easily with our, our competitors as well. I think as you move more toward the associate side to continue to digitize the workforce, as we're looking at call centers and moving those into the new ter newer terminology of a contact center, part of that is when you actually have a human intervene because of a call or a contact, that it could be looked at as a failure point. What is it that that human has that can be automated or digitized to allow that to be better, faster, and easier than having a human intervene? on that side. So those are all components, I think, that are very important as we look at what the next two, three, five years might look like. I don't want to overuse some of the analogies in the past, but when you look at companies like Amazon that was born, you know, in the cloud and that was born in the digital world, you don't have those kind of human interactions. The machine is actually taking care of a lot of those services for you. And I think as we mature, that's going to be the new norm, one of the new norms that people are gonna to expect to have happen in healthcare, just like they've seen it with retail, as I mentioned, or in banking or other types of industries, it's gonna be a norm for health and healthcare.